So here's the TV dongle with me and now let's plug it into the display. So over here I have the TV dongle and as you can see I've already plugged in the Chromecast uh, in the second HDMI 2 port. I guess HDMI 1 port, yeah. It's plugged in in the HDMI 1 port and I'm gonna plug in the TV dongle in the HDMI 2 port. So over here I have the TV dongle and I also have this HDMI extender uh, cable. So I'll be using the HD HDMI extender cable to plug in the TV dongle. So to use it, first of all just open this cable like this and here's the female side of the cable as you can see and we'll just plug in the TV dongle in here and at this end in this end we'll plug this end in the TV uh, that is our display I will not be calling it as the TV because it might be confusing so I'll be calling it as display so I'll plug this end into the display so I'll plug this end into the display HDMI port so over here as you can see I have plugged it into the HDMI port now the TV is plugged in uh, over here but we need some power we need power for the TV so we'll take this USB to micro USB cable and we'll again open it up and if our TV has a USB uh, jack if our, if our display has a USB jack so first thing uh, we need to take the micro USB end over here and we need to plug it in in the TV dongle over here on the left hand side so here's the micro USB slot let me just I just plugged it in in the micro USB slot and now I'll plug the USB normal USB connector into the USB port on my display so let me just plug it in so everything is now connected let me just uh, start the display, uh, turn on the display and we'll set up the TV dongle. So here's the TV and it currently says that it's scanning for a Wi-Fi network and now it says TV setup is starting, please wait. So I'll wait for some time. And I guess we'll need our smartphone over here. So I have uh, my smartphone over here and it says me to download the TV app. So TV and let me just quickly install it. So uh, let's just open the app. And the app is opening and it's signing me in. Now I'm signed in into this TV app. Let me hit next, next and uh, connect TV to your television and power it up. We have already done so. Set up your TV device from the settings menu. Okay, let's go. So it's preparing my stored files. Set up a TV. Yes. Okay, so over here, uh, there's a code 1990. Over there as well, there's a 1990 on the TV uh, dongle. And over here as well, it says 1990. So it matches. So next and it's connecting to TV right now uh, the dongle so okay so the TV uh, it's connected to TV enter the name here let me G, uh, let me just enter TGN and done next choose your Wi-Fi network so there's my Wi-Fi network let me enter the password so that the TV it gives the password to the TV dongle so I've entered the password and it's connecting to TV it says this might take a while okay the setup is complete now so that was the initial setup and there you can see the TV home screen so it shows the Wi-Fi network uh, it shows the name of the TV dongle that we have set it shows us the time and it also shows us the version so I've currently gotten an email from the TV 
welcome TV Ninja, welcome to TV. Okay, that's just welcome message in the email that I've got. Let me just launch the TV app now. Okay, it's preparing content now. Okay, uh, so the TV app has been started, and as you can see, we can see a lot of YouTube videos, TV shows. Uh, these are Indian TV shows. Uh, we can also see the phone files. So let me just try uh, playing a YouTube video. Okay, let's see. Definitely the TV app is taking a little bit long time to search. Okay, there we go. Uh, it has... I've searched the video. This is the Meizu M1 Note unboxing and quick review. Let me just play it. So it's playing on the TV. And let me focus here. So it's playing the video now in full screen. Let me lower down the volume. Volume control work great. As you can see, the quality is also very good. So it can play YouTube videos easily. As you can see, I can uh, remotely control the video. Okay, so here are the controls. So there you go, I just skipped the video a little bit. I can pause the video, play it again. Yes, it's buffering now. Stop the video and there you go. So that's the TV home screen again. So let's not try playing some videos that are stored on this device. Uh, that are local, that is local content stored on this device. So phone files. We can play videos, photos and music. Let me play some videos first and let me search for, okay, there's a video and let me hit play. So it's currently streaming from the Wi-Fi network. There you go. The video started pretty quickly and the quality seems very good. It's a slow motion video, so you can see the quality is really nice. Actually, the Wi-Fi router is really near me. So it's really near the TV dongle and the video quality looks fine. I'll uh, try playing some music from the device itself. So let's try playing some music. Let's see. Okay, so it started pretty quickly and the audio quality seems nice. And we can also control the volume. I'm controlling the volume from the volume rockers on the phone. Let me try pausing the music. So I paused it. Again played. Paused. And play. As you can see, it's pretty nice. The response time is nice. Uh, the remote response time when we pause and play stuff and when we control the volume. So that was a quick demo of TV uh, dongle. I feel the... Uh, the volume control is very nice it quickly uh, the response time is really nice uh, which was not there in google chromecast when i tried controlling the volume it was a little bit slow but uh, yes the tv app does take some time to load videos like youtube videos which the chromecast did not take that much of time uh, but i'll i'll test this more and i'll come up with a full review and uh, maybe some more uh, tutorial videos on this tv dongle so anyways, thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, hit the like button down below and if you found it helpful, also please do uh, remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet uh, to this channel and thanks for watching.